What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got something pretty awesome today. We're gonna be building a magic carpet. Okay, well, an electric skateboard, but honestly, after you're riding this thing for a few days, that's exactly what it feels like. It's totally awesome. So stick around and check it out. Before we get into that, I just wanna thank everybody for watching and subscribing. You guys are doing totally awesome. Uh, the last video got a ton of views. We're almost up to 200 subscribers. It's unbelievable. So keep it up. And if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. You will not regret it. So to build an electric skateboard, we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna buy a skateboard and I'm not gonna build one from scratch because that's a pain in the butt and they're cheap. Uh, we're gonna need a pretty powerful motor, an electronic speed controller, some batteries. Uh, we're gonna do all the programming in Arduino like we normally do. We're gonna have to build a wireless remote, which we're gonna build into a Wii nunchuck. I think that's gonna go pretty well. We're gonna have to learn how to program. I have done zero code in my entire life. So that should be interesting, but I've got some good resources to help me out. And we're gonna make it look pretty. Uh, we're gonna have to adapt that motor to the, to the board. Uh, I've got a few ideas on how to do that. We're gonna buy a few parts. We're gonna lay the few parts. Uh, so stick around, check it out. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna start with the stock truck and we're gonna add our motor adapter we got from eBay. Then these bearings are gonna hold the large gear that came with that eBay kit. And these bearings are for the wheels. Uh, there's the large gear. And this is an adapter plate we're gonna have to mill out of aluminum on the lathe. And the wheel goes on and a 3D printed adapter that gets bolted all the way through the wheel into the adapter plate on the other side. And the wheel gets mounted and the motor gets mounted up and then a small gear and all we're missing now is the pulley and we should be good to go. Okay, to all my machinist friends out there, I'm sorry. I totally know how bad of an idea this is. But I'm just gonna go super slow and hope I don't screw anything up. Okay, let's take a break from the hardware for a second and talk about software. I've kind of neglected to talk about software up until this point because honestly, I'm probably the least qualified person to talk about code. Uh, so I'm not gonna try and uh, teach code at the moment. I'm really too new at it, but let me show you what I've worked out so far. Um, you can see here, we've got an Arduino. Uh, this is a Nano hooked up to uh, a wireless module. And over here, we have the exact same setup. It's another Arduino with another wireless module. Uh, they're hooked into the same computer at the moment, 
but they are transmitting data through the wireless. Let me show you. Hi, Monkey. Yeah, you might open the video. As usual, Monkey's helping us out. Bring up my terminal uh, for the receive side. You can see my monitor here. It'll boot up, and it is receiving data. To you uh, coders out here, I'm sure this is super simple stuff to me. Uh, this is like brain surgery. So let me see if I can uh, work in the code I've already written for all of my joystick functions, and I'll see if I can get it to work. Mm -hmm. 